Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome to another video here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can restore your flight after a crash to desktop. Now, we're all experiencing a lot more crash to desktops since sim update number 5 and they can occur of course at any point but one of the most infuriating things is when you are four or five hours into a nice long haul flight and you get a crash. In this video I'm going to show you how you can continue your flight following a crash to desktop almost as though nothing happened. So at the moment I am obviously in a Aer Lingus livery departed from Dublin and on our way to New York JFK. This is obviously a long haul flight, around seven and a half hours in uh, in total, and we're just approaching the uh, the coast of Canada. We're currently still over the North Atlantic Ocean. So if we do get a crash to desktop, we want to know how can we continue the flight from this position. Let's head inside to the flight deck and take a look. So, like all good pilots, the one thing that we need to be aware of is just exactly whereabouts we are in our flight. We obviously have a operational flight plan, and at the top right hand side of the navigation display, as you can see here, you can see the waypoint that we are currently heading towards. If we also go down to the flight plan page on the McDo, you can see the waypoint that we have just previously passed, and this is where we need to make a little note of, uh, of this waypoint. So you need to have a general idea of whereabouts you are on your flight route. Um, so if you do get a crash to desktop, we can fix it. So let's say we now have a crash to desktop, and we want to continue our flight from our last known location. So we are going to get Microsoft Flight Simulator loaded back up again. Once that is all done, we can head into the world map and we know that we were somewhere over the North Atlantic Ocean. So we know our rough position. What we're next going to do is go to the menu down at the bottom where we can load a flight plan. Now, if like me, you use Simbri for your flight plans, then what you can do is download a flight plan, which you can then import into Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, by selecting here. Make sure then you uh, scroll down, find uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, download the flight plan. That's done rather quickly because they're not very big. Once that's then downloaded to a location of your choice, Hit the load save button and we'll just clear the menu, select load and then we can select the flight plan that we have just downloaded. That's now all loaded in and we can see this is our route. What we want to do now is find the last known waypoint that you were near or a waypoint that you then want to begin your flight from. So Nixo was the waypoint that we had just passed after the crash to desktop. And here it is, we can select on that just there. So I'm gonna set that now as my departure point. So we'll hit set as departure. And after that, we know we're now coming from Nixo, we're going to hit the fly button and usually now this doesn't take very long to load at all following uh, sim update number five so that is uh, oh, one good bonus that I find vastly reduced loading times so once that's loaded and you get presented with the ready to fly screen just before you hit the ready to fly button be aware that in the aircraft's current state it is not fully configured properly for flying. Now, when you hit ready to fly, the aircraft should maintain a nice stable level flight, but let's just go in here and we need now to correct a few things. We can see that we have just passed the waypoint that we uh, had uh, passed previously before the crash to desktop. The first thing we're going to want to do is get the auto thrust turned on. So get the auto thrust on, make sure the thrust levers are in the climb detent and you can check the FMA to make sure that is showing speed. So we've got good control over the engines. We can then set the appropriate altitude as well that we, uh, that we want to go to. We can get the autopilot on as well. We'll pull the altitude bug so we go into uh, into open descent 
and at this point as well then we can also pop the standby pressure back uh, back in and we can also set manage speed i should also say at this point i should have also entered nav mode as well by pushing the uh, pushing the heading bug there's a few other things as well that we just need to uh, do to configure the aircraft properly so we want to get the strobes on turn the landing lights off as well and basically just going through and check that everything is exactly as uh, as you left it once the aircraft is all configured and flying along happily, you will then need to go back into the flight management computer and in the flight plan page, you can see that everything there waypoint wise is exactly as we would expect. But if you had the arrival route, the star in there, that will have disappeared. That won't have been populated back in. So you are going to have to go and, uh, and select your uh, arrival airport, JFK in this case, and pop in your arrival again. That's the only thing that will happen. Have, uh, will have been missing so there we go hopefully you will have found this video useful and a workaround towards being able to continue your flights following a crash to the desktop if you have enjoyed the video please do hit the like button to help other YouTube users find the video and if you want to see more please do hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell as well for notifications of future videos and future live streams as well thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon bye bye for now